Welcome to Hannah Early College High School. Uh, it's a great afternoon for the, the Hannah Eagle family, and uh, we're here to celebrate a couple of our star student athletes. Uh, first of all, let me go ahead and introduce uh, some of our guests. Uh, of course, the principal of Hannah Early College High School, Ms. Blanca Lombardi. Our superintendent of schools, Dr. Esperanza Zendejas. And one of our very supportive board members, Mr. Coach Joe Rodriguez. Now, we have joined here today to celebrate two, of course, of our outstanding young athletes, uh, student athletes who will be continue their education and play in baseball at the collegiate level. First, we have Christian Gonzalez. who will be attending college and playing baseball for the University of the Incarnate Word in San Antonio. And then, and also Noe Guerrero, who will be attending college. Who will be attending college and playing baseball for Texas Southern University in Houston, Texas. Now, this is a huge accomplishment for both families and for the Hannah Early College High School family as well. Many, many hours were put in by these two young men uh, to, to hone their crafts and to get better at what they love. And, uh, you know, the, the time spent in the classroom on the field for them to be successful was a large amount of time and, and a lot of dedication. Of course, the, the support that they received from their parents, their coaches, their teammates, their friends all along the way has also helped uh, play a large role in, in their success as well. So congratulations to both of you and your families on your great accomplishment. Okay, thank you. Next up, we have Coach Wicks, the new baseball coach here at Hannah Early College High School to say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Jameson Wicks, and first of all, I have to thank everybody for being here, and I'm very grateful to BIS and Hannah High School for giving me this opportunity to head such a great baseball program and to be a teacher on campus. Uh, the honor is due to our two student athletes. Uh, you know, I have only been here for uh, about 15 weeks, 16 weeks. I've been counting, yes, and there are 58 days until our first official practice. Can't wait. But, uh, you know, having, having two scholar athletes like Christian and Noe uh, get the opportunity to pursue their, their college uh, career and to become student athletes is a pr privilege in, in and of itself. You know, this is something that I tell our athletes, and this is something that a lot of the major sports, uh, such as basketball, football, and baseball, have to succumb to every year. There's about one million uh, graduates from every sports that are seniors in high school. And of those one million high school student athletes, only 25,000 of them get the opportunity to play in college. And this is at all levels, uh, D1, D2, D3, junior colleges, NAI, all of them. So the, the numbers are slim. You know, we always talk about how hard it is to become a professional athlete which is even much more slim, but just getting the opportunity and privilege to be able to, to pursue their careers at such esteemed universities like Incarnate Word and uh, Texas Southern, two very strong academic schools, is, is a great honor and privilege that, that I know that they're going to continue to uh, appreciate the, the moment they get on campus. And one of the things that, that they're going to face when they get there is, is they're going to have the time of their life because they get to do something that they've always dreamed of doing and they've done it the right way. They've, they've achieved academic success. They've achieved uh, success on the baseball field. We have 
the, the RGV pitcher of the year, and we have him back, and I know that he's going to have an even stronger year than he did last year. And same thing with Christian being a first teamer in, in by district. It's, it's a great honor and privilege to be able to coach these two, and I can't wait to be able to see how their careers unfold because both of them have the potential to become professional athletes just because of their skill set and the character. And I have yet to have an official practice and see what they can really do. Um, only time will tell to see what the future holds for them. So congratulations to both of you. Uh, this is an honor and privilege to be able to speak up here uh, on behalf of you two, and I wouldn't want it any other way. So congratulations. A lot of the groundwork has already been laid uh, for these two student athletes. The dedication from their parents, from some of the coaches that are here today, from the coach that they've had here for the last three years. A lot of this would not be possible if it were not for the parents and those that have invested the time in them. And I want to give them a round of applause too. At this time, I want to bring up uh, the former head coach here at Hannah. He spent quite a few years here, and he wants to be able to speak a little bit about Noe. See you. Good afternoon, everybody. Okay, um, I'm Coach Garcia. I want to thank everybody to be here uh, for being here, uh, students parents, uh, you know, everybody out there. Uh, I've been fortunate enough, and it's a privilege, like Coach said, uh, coaching these two guys for the last three years. Um, you know, I could stay up here all night talking about good, good stuff about them. I don't have any bad things to say about them. They would show up to work every day, practice, all right, no questions asked. Let's get to work from day one. Okay, even in the off season. Okay, uh, as a coach, it's it's a dream. It's a dream, and, and and they're not the only ones. There's a lot of out there that I've coached, uh, uh, and I've had the, the the privilege to coach. Uh, but but these two guys are representing Hannah very well. Okay, uh, they deserve uh, their chance to 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 have their icing on the cake by getting their degree and uh, and playing the game they love. Okay, uh, so they are going to be, uh, Hannah's going to be well represented, and I'm, I'm sure, I'm positive that they're going to do very well. Uh, and, and again, I want to thank the administration, especially, especially the parents, for uh, the sacrifice, not only when they got to high school, but before. It starts in Little League. It starts in the camps. It starts just take, taking them to, to, to the batting cages. It's taking them out of town for, for, for select ball. Uh, it takes a lot of sacrifice. Me as a parent, we, I understand. Now I'm getting to understand that. And uh, it, it was a privilege. It, it, it's an honor. And, and I'm so happy for them. And uh, I know there's many other that are going to follow that up. There's a lot of guys out there that I see that have the same desires, the same talent. All right? And I know they have the tools. And let this be a stepping stone for motivation for, for the guys that are out there, the young ones, the freshmen, the sophomores, even the juniors. Because I know they put in their work, but I know you guys can, do, can too. Okay? And uh, again, I want to thank you. It's an honor for be, being here speaking about them. But like I said, I could be here all night. Okay? Thank you so much. Any of you would like to speak on behalf of your sons? How wonderful they are. <laughs> okay, well at this time, go ahead and grab your pens. Sign away.
the most important part. I know these, these young men want to be able to speak about their experiences and how much they love being here at Hannah High School and the future that they have. So first up is going to be Noe Guerrero. Uh, first of all, I want to thank God. Uh, I want to thank my family who supported me throughout my baseball career. I want to thank all my coaches who helped me become a, become better as a player and as. Uh, I want to thank Coach Luna, Coach Villalobos, Coach Garza, Pete Avila, Coach Iguia, uh Coach Justin Hunter, Coach Trey Sanchez, and Ray De Leon from the Bandidos organization. Coach Garcia, Coach Vega, Coach Inojosa, Coach Loa, and Coach Wicks. I also want to thank uh, my long toss partners who stay after school to throw with me. Uh, <clears throat> I want to thank my teammates throughout all my select teams and in high school. I want to thank Texas Southern for giving me the opportunity to play at the Division I collegiate level. Uh, I want to thank my mom for making me good pregame meals and for telling me I did well even though I know that game I didn't. <laughs> <clears throat> and lastly, I want to thank the person who has been there for me since diaper leagues. He is my coach, my best friend, my teacher, my workout partner, my mentor, and my dad. Without him, <laughs> without him, I don't know where I'd be right now. Thank you. First off, I'd like to thank God for the opportunity he's given me and a supportive family and I can't thank you guys enough for all the sacrifices that you've done for me. It's truly the reason that I made it this far and why I'm here today. Um, next I'd like to thank Coach Aguilla for taking me in and showing me how to play the game and how to be a good teammate. Being a part of this team is where I really began to develop a love for the game and where I met not only my teammates but my life on friends. I'd like to thank Coach Barrera uh, for taking me in the Sliders organization. And no organization does a better job at showcasing down in Dara GV than the South Texas Sliders. Uh, I'd like to thank all my friends and my teammates uh, for being there through me through the highs and the lows. Um, as I continue my baseball journey, I hope to show that hard work and determination will always lead you in the right direction. This is a moment that I've dreamed of from a very young age, and I'm glad I can share it here with all of you today. And lastly, congratulations to Noe, and we know with your hard work ethic and your drive, you'll do big things. Thank you. Okay, y'all come join us for the final picture here. All right, we're just here for a few final pictures. Uh, once again, thank y'all for your attention. Uh, see what you can do with a little bit of hard work and determination. Uh, you never know, the sky's the limit. Congratulations, boys. Oh, it, it was exciting. Um, they had been following me for about two years already, mm -hmm. and I never knew that they were on the side watching me play this whole time. And um, they got a call mid-October that they had a spot for me, so I, I committed. Wow, that's great.
upgrade, mm -hmm. and what do you look forward to in the future? Um, they're, they're rebuilding their program, and they've brought in a new coaching staff, and I know that their program is going to go do good things, and I want to be a part of that program, along with the academic part, and they have a very good medical program, so after my four years of baseball, that's what I plan on doing. Well, I started playing baseball when I was about four years old, and then I, I joined a, a travel team called the, the South Texas Sluggers, and I've been playing with them forever, from five years old till now, and, and I've really developed as a player. In the past two years, I started playing for a travel team called the South Texas Sliders, and there's a lot of scouts and better competition, and I realized that I could compete with this level of competition, and that's where I really strive to become a collegiate baseball player. If you, it's an academic institution to begin with, and if they're not getting the grades in school, then they're definitely not going to be able to play in college. And these two students have definitely proven that with good grades, uh, you know, Noe's on a, he's not going to have to pay for school. He's got a 50% academic and 50% athletic, and that's, that's hard to achieve. And he's, he's done that because he, he worked hard in the classroom. And so the kids do have an example in front of them as to who they need to follow and it's going to start in the classroom and if you work hard and you take care of things on the field everything's going to pan out and, and you're going to get schools knocking on your door because you have the two you're, you're talented and you can take care of work in the classroom uh, we're very proud to have christian and noe i think uh, it's a great opportunity for them to attend the college of uh, very high academic uh, standards and also to play the game that they love Definitely, we wish them well. We're thankful uh, for all the support that the parents have given them and us at the same time. And congratulations, go Tigers and go Cardinals. Thank you so much. Thank you. It uh, took a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of uh, tears, blood, a lot of hard hours um, after school, before school. It took a lot. What would you tell the students out there that are like, coming in freshmen? What would you tell mm -hmm. them? to be where you are? I would tell them to uh, just, you know, work hard and every day do some, do a little thing every day and that'll, that'll help you, uh, you know, become a better as an athlete, as a person, so. Uh, I'd like to tell my parents thank you for everything. Uh, they supported me throughout all the years. Um, and I'd like to thank the school for, you know, giving me the opportunity to play for them and start, be a starter since freshman year. So I'd like to thank them for that. Uh, I look forward to playing. I, I look forward to working out and improving. Mm -hmm. and hopefully yeah. getting drafted uh, in my third year, hopefully. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Well, it's a great accomplishment for my son. All the hard work he's put in over the years, all those uh, waking up uh, 4.30 in the morning, go to the gym at 5, and doing his workouts, uh, staying up late to study, to keep up with his academics, because we always told him it's got to be sports and academics, not just sports. So he, he put in the hard work, and uh, it's good to see that he finally accomplished one of his goals. Well, he's excited. Mm -hmm. He's definitely excited. It was his dream, mm -hmm. and he sees uh, his dream getting closer and closer and closer because he does one MLB, and I think uh, I believe in our son. We mm -hmm. believe in our son, and, and he can accomplish anything he sets his mind. And so we're going to miss him, but thank God it's Houston, so we're going to come see him often, see his games, and... And he's a good role model for his little brothers and his sister. And hopefully they're all heading that direction. And th thank thank to, you. thanks to all the coaches. He had a lot of support from his coaches since little. Since little, and I think he named them all. He, I mean, there's just so many people that have supported us and, uh, and been there. And he believes. He's a kid that believes a lot in God and knows that uh, he has faith. And uh, without God, he, he knows he wouldn't be here. So thank you. I just want to congratulate the boys, Christian and Noe, on their uh, future. Uh, it's great to have these kids uh, go in scholarship to these colleges, and uh, uh, it's uh, part of what we do all about in coaching. And, of course, they had good mentors here, good coaches, and we're proud of our program. Uh, and, of course, the support that the school board gives the athletics as well as the band because those are two very important programs that um, – that the school district needs to be successful and we're we're proud of the job that their coaches do and the kids that they do want to congratulate their parents because they would make the big sacrifice of taking them everywhere to train them and have them give them the opportunity to succeed so uh anyway it's a great day thanks Thank you, coach.
I want to congratulate Christian Gonzalez and Noe Guerrero for signing to play baseball division one. We're very happy for them. We're looking forward to Hannah's baseball team. I know it's going to do outstanding work and congratulations to both boys.